Hey, what is up, guys? It is Clash Patel here, bringing to you guys another awesome war. And as you can see, this is Dragonflower versus Victory Matters. It's actually a really awesome war, but Dragonflower did manage to pull off the win by about two stars. We weren't scared the whole time, especially at the very end, because Victory Matters did save a bunch of Town Hall 10 attacks to try to get three stars on our Town Hall 10s and tie up or win the war. So this is one of our Town Hall 9s hitting up into one of their Town Hall 10s, basically just to get 2 stars, so that way we don't have to waste Town Hall 10 attacks on getting 2 stars before we start on our 3 star attempts. So, he's going to send in his Hogs and Rage Bells around the base to basically try to get the point defenses out of the way and lure out the Clan Castle at the same time. Uh, as soon as he's done finishing the clan castle and getting that out of the way, he's going to drop archers around the base out of range of all the remaining point defenses and clean up all that trash before he starts pushing into the town hall with his golems and heroes. As you can see, his lightning spell did go down perfectly on that witch, and now all that's left is ground clan castle troops, so he's going to be able to just drop a few minions on those clan castle troops, and they will be out of range of everything and be able to take them out unharmed. Now that the clan castle troops are getting out of the way, he's going to start dropping his archers around the base just to clean up the trash right before he pushes into the base with his town hall. As you can see, there is a Tesla on the outside, but it's not really going to matter because he's going to get loads of percent from pushing into the base with his golems and heroes anyway. Right where that Tesla is, there is a spot where he's going to, going to deploy his king as well inside the base so he doesn't have to wait on him to break an extra wall. As soon as that gold storage goes down, the queen is going to work on that blue wall as is the king right to the town hall. And they're going to break them at about the same time so that they can both be on the town hall at the same time and hopefully take that out. His king does start to take damage so he activates his ability to heal him up. Both the walls go down and they are on the town hall. The level 40 king is getting pretty close but it's not going to matter because his queen is going to one shot this town hall as soon as he gets in range and wrap up this attack for 52% 2 star. This next attack is one of our Town Hall 10 3 stars by Rai on their number 7. It's actually really nice go lava. He's go going to try to get the Inferno air defense queen and clan castle troops coming from the bottom with a few golems. As you can see, he starts by deploying one golem and his queen behind it. He's going to hold his second golem and king for a little bit until uh, his queen starts to break into the base. There's the second golem and thus another wizard to help with the funneling. His wall breakers go down and his king will go down as soon as all the trash is out of the way. Now that the trash is out of the way, he's going to send in his king to go in right where he wants him with that jump spell. And as you can see, they're getting right on top of that Inferno Tower. He's going to Lightning the Clan Castle troops. The queen is getting in range. Hopefully, they're going to take them out in just a second, or take her out in just a second. And once the queen is out of the way, the queen, uh, his queen is going to move over to that air defense, take that out, and hopefully take out this Inferno Tower. But as you can see, the Inferno Tower does manage to survive with just a sliver of health. So that is going to hurt him a little bit, but not too much because all the balloons have to do is drop on top of the Inferno, not actually drop a bomb on it to kill it. So he is going to use a rage spell to counteract the sweeper on the left side and as you can see his balloons are already starting to get behind the sweeper he's going to drop his free spells free spell on that air defense and uh inferno tower and his the first inferno tower does go down and as you can see he does have loads of balloons left they're all surrounding that inferno tower they're going to take it out in just a second along with that air defense his last hound does go down and now all there is is an archer tower and an expo versus all of those balloons as you can see, the last defenses do go down, and it is ju just going to be clean up from here. So this next attack is another one of our Town Hall 10 3 stars by Jezza. This is also another awesome attack, and this attack just went perfectly. He didn't miss an Inferno. Everything just went great, especially the kill squad. So he is going to come in from the left, I believe right by the queen yes he is he's gonna drop his queen a little bit before his golems but then his golems right before his queen gets in range uh the wizards go down for the funneling both golems are down he's going to wait just like uh rai did for his king so that he uh, doesn't have to take any unnecessary damage before he actually gets into the base he's gonna drop his jump spell and then his king will finally go in right where he wants him right onto the enemy queen as you can see his heroes are still both full health he activates his king's rage early so that he can get the clan castle out of the way easier he is also going to lighten the clan castle and they are already grinding up on that inferno tower and air defense 
the queen is already down and so is the other air defense and his queen is going to be able to take out that inferno tower for a perfect kill squad He's going to start by deploying at the top two hounds on each air defense, and then he's basically, uh, once his hounds and balloons take out the first two air defense, he's going to rage them all to the third air defense and the last inferno tower. So as you can see, he actually only brought one rage, so he's going to use that to get them to that inferno tower even quicker. He did bring two freeze. He's going to use the first on the air defense and inferno tower. And as you can see, most of the base is already taken out. He doesn't even need this last free spell, but he's going to use it anyway on this archer tower and wizard tower just to save some health on his remaining balloons. As you can see, the last defense does go down, and it's just going to be clean up from here, from here for an awesome three star. So this next attack is yet another Town Hall 10 3 star go lava by Ghost Rider. It's a really, really awesome attack, just like the other ones uh, previously. And the reason why I'm showing all Town Hall 10 3 stars is basically in these mixed clan wars, they are making the difference because the Town Hall 9s always clear the other Town Hall 9s. So basically the only thing that matters is uh, which clan gets more Town Hall 10 3 stars. And everything that goes into that is to save more Town Hall 10 attacks, like our Town Hall 9s hitting up into their Town Hall 10s, or our Town Hall 9s not failing on the Town Hall 9s. Those are to save extra Town Hall 10 attacks to be able to 3 star other Town Hall 10s. It all goes into that, and it all ties into our Town Hall 10 3 stars. So he is going to go in from the top of the base, just like he did with his kill squad. The Town Hall is in the way. He's going to be able to take that out pretty easily, though, and get to this Inferno as soon as he gets the Clink Castle and the queen out of the way so the inferno is going to go down by the uh king actually and the queen will go over and wrap up that air defense and he is going to start deploying his balloons and hounds So the first hound go does go down on the left side of the screen, uh, actually both hounds do, to that air defense, and basically they all have the same deployment style, they just deploy their first two hounds on, or first four hounds on the first two air defenses, and then rage everybody to the last air defense, and they make sure they get that freeze on the inferno that they do not get with the kill squad, so that way it doesn't take out all their balloons too quickly. So there is only one air defense left, and there is uh, one hound still alive with a sliver of health left. He is going to send in his last two loons on these two defenses, and they are going to take those out. And as you can see, he does have a huge cluster of balloons, which are going to take some heavy damage from that wizard tower, but it's not going to matter because he's going to go down very quick. And then it's just an archer tower, and, and she's shooting at the last hound. So the archer tower is going to go down, and so is that cannon, and then it's just going to be clean up for there, from there. So guys, if you enjoyed this war, don't forget to leave a like down below. Tell me what you thought of this war. If, Dragon, if you think Dragonflower deserved the win, or if you think we got a little bit lucky, or Victory Matters choked a little bit at the end, which caused them to lose, just tell me what you thought. And this next war is actually just as good, if not better, than Dragonflower versus Victory Matters, so don't forget to tune into that episode.